disbelief or disinterest, or else a mass exodus to the bar. Do support bands get a fair deal? Do they ever make any money? Why am I asking these questions? Because truth-seeking Andy Kershaw has been to Liverpool to investigate this very problem. Many top flight groups do the first national tours and get before big audiences for the first time as support acts. When I was putting on gigs in Leeds, I paid an undernourished Duran Duran £50 for supporting Hazel O'Connor. We have values in those days. So, what are the perils and fortunes of being a support band on tour with a really big group? Have you met the adventures? This looks a bit extravagant for support band accommodation. Hey, you can't stay here. It's only got orange nylon sheets and purple wallpaper. Come back. The adventurers travel in a minibus. Tears for fears, travel on this huge coach with full video facility. I got here by a very nifty piece of editing. Adelphi Hotel, finest in Liverpool. Do a very nice pot of tea as well. How does a promoter of a national tour, and in this case also of Tears for Fears manager, choose a support band? Primarily, you make sure, first of all, that they're musically compatible, but also we, we like to try and make sure that, from a personality point of view, we're going to get on with them, as the tour's quite long, and we're in each other's pockets, you know, all day long, every day of the week, so mm -hmm. that's quite important. How much did the record company have to pay you to get on the Tears for Fears tour? They paid £7,000. What did they get for the buy-on fee? We truck all their equipment and we let them use all the lights, the sound. We do their sound for them, we do their lights for them and just generally take care of them. Are you enjoying yourselves on this tour? Are we? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> great. How do you get treated as a support act to a big lead band? Um, well, obviously we don't get the same um, sort of time and sign checks and stuff and we don't stay in as good hotels as um, as the main band but by and large it's been really good you know and um, we've always got a, a you know a sign check every night and um, I mean the, the reaction from the audience has been really good you know there was a short list, there was about seven bands who were trying to go for it and um, why did you got picked because we had the money <laughs> do you think having to pay for the privilege yeah, <laughs> of course, there's not having to pay for anything, but I mean, it's part of the business, really, and you have to go along with it and we'll get on with it. How much do you then get paid per night? Don't know. 50 quid or something like that now. Where's it all going? Between how many of you? Um, 50, 50 well, between how many? Seven of us in the band, but it doesn't, I mean, we don't get it, we don't see it. It, it goes towards the expenses of hotels and. Because it's been a standard payment for 50 quid for years, hasn't it? Apparently it's still 50 pounds. It hasn't kept pace with the <laughs> FT index, obviously. Have you seen or heard the adventures before you brought them on tour? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of records of theirs at home. So you you bothered who does support you when you're touring? Uh, yeah, we were, we were actually trying to get somebody we liked to support us. It makes life easier. I mean, if you if you actually like the support band and you get. You're talking about personalities or, or musical similarities. Both, both hopefully. Yeah. Do you socialise much with the support group when you're on tour? We haven't done uh, this tour so much. We, uh, I mean, it's been different every tour. On the first tour we ever did, uh, the support band we took on <coughs> along with us didn't have a record contract. Right. They didn't have much money, so we put up money um, for them. And we did a lot of socialising mm. because we actually wanted them to support us. What happened is, because um, of the money element, we actually got in debt. So this tour, the reason they're doing it is because they paid the most money. Right. Because the support band have a record deal, they eventually have a record deal, they have the promotion behind them. Right. So it will do them a lot better because they already have backing. A band like the first band we took on tour with us, Verba Verba, they had no backing anyway. So people, you know, we took them on tour, but we mm. didn't promote them. We didn't, um, you know, get the press in to see them and things like that. So it didn't do them a lot of good. You know, it helps if they have a record company behind them, obviously. Yeah. How important, from the record company's point of view, is it for 
for a, a new band to the label or an up and coming band to the label to go out and play live. I mean, we are in the video age, I suppose. I, I thought live music wasn't that as important as. Yeah, we are in the video age, but I mean, people still like to get to know a band by watching them play for 35, 40 minute set. I mean, they want to know a little bit more about them than three minutes. Do you think anybody takes any notice of support groups? Well, on a concert tour like this, they do, yeah. So that's cost-effective promotion as far as you're concerned, what's happening now? Oh album? yeah, with an album coming out in the beginning of May, to playing to 40,000 people in three weeks is a fantastic opportunity for people to see them. What do you think supporting Two Sophias will achieve for you? Well, I mean, it, it'll, it'll mean that a lot more people will have heard of the adventures, and um, I think pe people respect the fact that you do actually come out and play to them. I mean, you're actually there. We needed uh, this, the, the experience of playing to these crowds, you know. I mean, we did a, uh, a few shows just not long after we signed at the Dominion with Huey Lewis and people like that. And uh, we were uh, overcome with the occasion. But, uh, I mean, by the time this tour is over, we'll be seasoned. When we first did this, we thought we'd be playing to half-empty houses and things like that. But it hasn't been the case. I mean, we've never... We haven't had any mass exoduses where we've been on stage or anything like that. We've had really good response. W one of the good things about it is that we've had two singles out now. Quite a few people in the audience have yeah. recognised the songs as soon as we started playing them, I and they've got—they seem to have got the biggest applause at the end. So I mean, we're not going out there totally cold. Tonight's support group? The Avengers. The Avengers? Adventurers. Did you like them? Yeah. The Adventures. Did you see them? No. Did you not watch them? No, I didn't. Why not? Who's in here drinking air? Any notice of support groups? Oh, I, yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy the adventures tonight? Yeah, they were really good. Yeah. I didn't know it was the adventures, but I heard before, but I didn't know it was there. Did you like them? Yeah, they're really good. They're really good. Would, would you now go out and buy one of the records? Yeah, the yeah. first yeah. single we played was really yeah. nice. Yeah. Buy that. When you go to a gig, do you never watch the support band? No. 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 Why is that? I don't know. It's, a, it's best if you get pissed before. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the concert better. Sound advice. T Adventures in Liverpool. Now